there's an infrastructure in place in the United States and worldwide that NSA has built in cooperation with other governments as well that intercepts basically every digital communication, every radio communication, every analog communication that it has sensors in place to detect. If they can't get it through the internet, through the tapping of the lines or anything like that, through a commercial means, and they're unsure about you, they can get it by close access means. They can use your computer video to look back at you, or they can monitor um, within a certain distance the keystrokes you're making on your computer or what you're putting on your computer screen. And if that's not enough, they can come in through the firewall you think you have, but don't. I'm, I'm really more disappointed in the American public that they aren't more uh, irritated. I mean, they're starting to get there, but it's taking a long time. What we're here to talk about today is the fact that the brain is and will be the 21st century battlescape in many ways. End of story. You will encounter some form of neurocognitive science that has been weaponized not only in your military career, but in your personal and professional lives. It is valid, valuable, and already an operational play. The brain is the current and future battle space.